Happy sunshine, family. We're getting into it now. You know what I just noticed? Where's the title for this? We're going to do a little on-the-fly editing here. We just did part five, so now we're in part six. Okay. This is part six of the post-trial filings. We're taking a look at document number 148. And this has a really interesting title. The Standing Order of Null and Void. All right. The United States District Court, Eastern District of Tennessee at Knoxville. U.S. or excuse me, the United States of America v. Heather Antucci Giraffe. Case number 3 colon 17 dash CR dash 0082 dash 002. The Honorable Thomas A. Varlin, Chief U.S. District Judge. Honorable C. Clifford Shirley Jr., Chief U.S. Magistrate Judge. Notice of filing. The defendant, Heather Antucci Giraffe, hereby files standing order of null and void. Again, this cover sheet was generated by Francis Lloyd. Um, so he's the one calling Heather the defendant here. And the certificate of service that it was filed electronically in the court's filing systems. All right, original instrument, due notice. Notice to principal is notice to agent. Notice to agent is notice to principal. So this is the form that BZ mentioned in her email. Uh, you can check that out in a prior video, uh, two videos ago, I believe, part four. And Heather has a, a few sheets of paper that have this printed out on it here in, you know, in blue original instrument and in red this notice to principal is notice to agent. And it's got pre-filled in this and she is uh, adding these case numbers to correct, uh, correct and complete that section. And then she fills all the rest in with, with golf pencil. So let's take a look at, and then when all of, all of the uh, documents are done and Heather submits them to her lawyer, the lawyer's office scans them in and then has to modify, you know, basically darken up the pencil marks to make them more legible. So keep all that in mind as we're reading through these, and especially the next one. It, it, things just take, a, take an interesting turn here. Standing order of null and void. Roman numeral one. And it looks like she starts all of this off with an ellipsis. I remember that from the last one. I wonder what significance that, uh, that has. Being duly filed, served, and noticed in conjunction with the standing declaration of dishonor and honor, issue date of February 14, 2018, and the standing order to cease and desist, issue date of February 15, 2018, each restated and incorporated here by reference as if set forth in full, issue date February 15, 2018. So in this section right here, this this block, Roman numeral one, she is basically restating her declaration of dishonor and honor, which we read through, and the standing order to cease and desist. All right, Roman numeral two. Article 1, above, restated, and for due cause, duly declared and established, restated, all actions by Thomas A. Varlin, C. Clifford Shirley Jr., Deborah C. Poplin, Cynthia Davidson, Anne Marie Svalto, H. Bruce Guyton, et al., in case number 3 colon 17 dash CR dash 82, and related matters are duly all caps underlined, ordered, null and void, ab initio, with prejudice. Signed, February 15, 2018, Heather Antucci Giraffe. Printed, 
original Heather Antucci giraffe. All right, certificate of service. I certify that on February 15th crossed out, 21st written in, and Hat J's initials. Uh, of So on February 21st, 2018, a true, accurate, and complete scan of the foregoing original was made and caused to be electronically filed. Notice of this filing will be sent by operation of the alleged court's electronic filing system to all alleged parties indicated on the electronic filing receipt. Alleged parties may access this filing through the alleged court's electronic filing system. A dated February uh, 21st, the 15th was crossed out. Corrections initialed of 2018, signed Heather Antucci Giraffe, printed original Heather Antucci Giraffe. And another certificate of service from William Thomas Ferguson III, dated the February 23rd of 2018. All right, so this is the standing order of null and void, <clears throat> which is tacked on to the uh, standing order to cease and desist. And we're going to get into a real interesting one in the next video. So if you've got any love lighter links for me, you can send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. I love you guys a lot. We'll be back really soon.